Two of hip hop's biggest stars have beef, and people are taking sides. Kendrick Lamar and Drake have been engaged in a lyrical battle in recent weeks that escalated over the weekend. The two artists each released songs about the other, in one case with Lamar not even waiting a full hour before he dropped a track in response to one of Drake's diss. There is plenty we don't know in terms of why there is apparent animosity between the two superstar rappers, but we do know that there is history. Back in 2011, Lamar appeared on Drake's second album, Take Care, on Buried Alive Interlude. It was the same year Lamar released his debut studio album, Section 80. The two men were both carving a place for themselves in the industry at the time, with Drake then best known as an actor for his role as student Jimmy Brooks in the Canadian teen TV series, Degrassi. The pair would go on to tour together and collaborate on the track Poetic Justice on Lamar's sophomore studio album, Good Kid, Mad City. As one of hip-hop's rising stars, Lamar leaned into his growing success with the swagger one would expect in the rap game during a guest appearance on Big Sean's 2013 single, Control. Multiple artists are name-checked in the song, including Drake. The lyrics include, I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you, a euphemism for besting them professionally. Lamar proclaims himself both King of New York and King of the Coast. The pair have continued to take shots at each other on tracks over the years, but this latest skirmish appears to have begun in October 2023, when rapper J. Cole collaborated with Drake on the song First Person Shooter. On the track, Cole refers to himself, Lamar, and Drake as the big three in rap. Drake likened his own popularity in the game to the stardom of the late singer Michael Jackson. Lamar seemingly took exception to the comparisons and hit back on a collaborative track with Future and Metro Boomin that caught fire in March 2024, titled Like That. Lamar makes clear on the song that there is no big three, just big me. He casts himself as Prince to Drake's Jackson, noting that the former outlived the latter. Like That is a cut on the album We Don't Trust You, which many believe is filled with disses aimed at Drake. The apparent jabs surprised some listeners as Drake and Future have been longtime collaborators. Things got even more heated when Future and Metro Boomin released the follow-up, We Still Don't Trust You, which Billboard magazine declared is filled with Drake disses, not only from Future, but from The Weeknd and ASAP Rocky as well. With so many coming after the Canadian rapper lyrically, it started feeling like Marvel Infinity War of hip-hop superheroes battling it out. The man who helped kick it all off, J. Cole, quickly exited the battle. Cole released Seven Minute Drill on a surprise project Might Delete Later in which he came after Lamar, only to later declare the song lame. He removed it from streaming services, publicly apologized, and has gone quiet since. Last month, Drake dropped the diss track Push Ups, in which he poked fun at Lamar's shoe size to his past collaborations with pop stars. Maroon 5 need a verse? You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties, Drake raps, appearing to mock Lamar's work with Maroon 5 on their song Don't Wanna Know and with Swift on her song Bad Blood. Drake also took a swipe at Rick Ross, who was featured on We Don't Trust You. Ross then began a social media war of words with Drake, which included accusing Drake of having undergone plastic surgery. Lamar, known also as K-Dot, responded with multiple volleys. First, there was Euphoria, which is now as famous for the insults lobbed at Drake. Within days, Lamar followed that with 616 in LA, which many interpreted to be making fun of Drake's penchant for titling songs with times and locations. Things got increasingly personally in this rap battle on Saturday, when Drake dropped the eight-minute diss track, Family Matters. He makes allegations about abuse and infidelity involving Lamar and his fiancée, Whitney Alford, on the song. Lest we not forget that Lamar is a lyrical assassin, he didn't even let an hour go by after the release of Family Matters to drop a response, titled, Meet the Grams. The song gets heavy as Lamar addresses Drake's parents and Drake's parenting skills, accusing him of have a secret daughter. Lamar followed that within hours with another song titled, Not Like Us, in which accuses Drake of being attracted to underage girls. Drake again had his say on Sunday with The Heart Part 6. On this song, Drake claims he's the one who fed Lamar fake information about a secret child. 
We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old. I bet he takes it Drake raps. It's anyone's guess where this goes from here with both rappers digging their heels in and firing at will to close out a historic hip-hop weekend.